I've given my effort, I've given my heart, and I haven't seen results. I'm tired of being positive. The only thing that I've found to be solid, stern, resilient, that has gotten me through those feelings, those waves of doubt and disbelief in myself and my call, the only thing that's gotten me through that is non-attachment. What's up guys, it's Cal Marquez. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Here's peace, here's love, here's life. I hope you're having your best day. If you're not, just tweak a little bit, change it, because you can make your day better. I say that all the time and I mean it. Uh, it has merit. <laughs> it's true, uh, when a day is not going the way you'd like it to, if it's a shade too dark for you, things aren't as bright as they could be, you can decide to have your best day. You can just decide because you're deciding to be angry. You're deciding to let cortisol and other stress hormones, uh, excuse me, other stress chemicals bog you down and keep you in a state of fear and survival and not a state of thriving. All it takes is the mind. I, I heard a quote today. It's, oh, such a good quote. Such a good quote. It doesn't matter if I'm in this room you know, bound by these walls, or if I'm in space looking at the stars, I'm still in my head. I am still in my mind, no matter where I am. Makes you, makes you wonder, if your environment would actually change anything about you. Because with that quote that I just told you, it doesn't matter... And that quote wasn't by me, after all. I'm not saying that. I just don't remember who it's by. It doesn't matter where you are or what your environment looks like. Your mind dictates how that environment is perceived. These walls that encase me right now can be a prison or it could be a palace. It can be a space to expand my mind and dive into my passions and, and give 120% to what I'm trying to do with the world. And the power of positioning yourself to fire off positivity and, and restructure this decaying and dilapidated world, the, the power that you'll feel from that. You guys know that you know every action has an equal and opposite reaction, that thermodynamic law or whatever, one of Newton's laws. You guys know that that applies to everything we experience in this reality. That's physics. So if I'm putting out positive energy, if I'm putting out the energy of this will be good, if I'm putting that out, if I'm putting out the energy of I am that dude, whatever I do is going to be successful. If I'm putting that energy out, I have to get that energy back. It's it's like uh, the reverberation, right? It's, you know, you take a rubber band and you let it go. You're building up that potential energy and it becomes kinetic. Like you're taking a... Let me stop. <laughs> That's not the point of this video, but I feel like someone needed to hear that. If you are tired of being positive, if you're tired, if you're exhausted with giving your heart and your desires to something, and it is hard, oh my gosh, is it difficult to continually give yourself without seeing result. If you're tired from that, if you've grown weary in doing good, take a moment to be in the present. What you're doing is, is you're extending yourself too far. You're thinking too many days ahead. You're taking on work that hasn't come to you yet. And now I've been in a, I've been in a place lately where it's been, it's been something trying to maintain this, this air of positivity and this, you know, this mindset of tranquility, if you will. And I made a video before saying that 
That's just not realistic. Human beings flow. Our emotions are waves, just like the, the wavelengths of light. They're waves, you know. They're up one moment, the peaks, and then the troughs the next moment. You've got to be able to flow with this thing. If life is a play, if life is a game, if this is the cosmic drama, your character in this play may have to change from time to time. I don't mean just like major life changes, you know, like first quarter of the book to the second quarter of the book of your life. No, no, I mean daily changes. Be open to reinventing yourself daily. Be open to the universe doing something new with you. Like I said, the universe is a uniqueness engine. <sighs> Take this. This is, this is going to help. I promise you. It's, it's going to be so good. Just, just listen. Just listen. Days don't exist. I heard this from a fellow content creator on TikTok. I don't remember people's names. I just come across information. As I'm sure people come across my information and use it. I'm not trying to steal anyone's work. It's not, that's not the point. The idea is that days don't exist. These 24-hour spans were things that we created so that we could be productive in a day, so that industries and corporations could get a certain amount of work done out of the working class person. These 24-hour days that we have, that doesn't really exist, right? Time isn't segmented like that. We did that. What's actually happening is every day you wake up, or every time you wake up is a new moment for you to experience all that you want to experience. For you to give this thing 120%. For you to put in for your life. For you to say everything that I've been through in the past, what I've done in the past, my failures, my shortcomings. I am not going to let those things dictate my future. I'm going to take this day right here as a totally new and fresh moment that has never existed before. This day is going to be an experience for me to recreate who I am. If I didn't like who I was yesterday, that person doesn't exist anymore. I am a new breed. I am a different creature right now. Like I said, I am that dude. Get it done, whatever it is, whatever passion you have in your heart, whatever dream, whatever aspiration you have that you're trying to reach, every day you wake up, you should be excited to go and fulfill that thing. It doesn't matter if you work. It doesn't matter if you have other obligations that take you from it. You always have an opportunity to give everything you have to produce from a seed the flower of your ambitions. Because the, the world deserves that. You're here on this planet to render some some sort of service and that service is your uniqueness it's that it's what it it's what you do it's that thing that you do that no one else does it's the way you see the world the shade the tint the tilt the curve of the way that you see the world because you're a part of source consciousness you're one of the eyeballs of the million that see this whole thing. And the universe one day said that it, it wanted to experience life. It wanted to experience this thing created from a place of the experiencer as opposed to the one who created the experience. Like if I painted a painting, I would never experience it in the awe and the uniqueness and the newness and the authenticity the novelty that someone else seeing that painting would feel. Unless I became them. This is the idea about the universe using you as an aperture to experience itself. Today I wanted to give you a message, or tonight, because this video is going to be coming out in the next 30 minutes or so, however long it takes me to edit. I just wanted to give a general message because I feel like in this time we're in right now, the tendency is to give in. The feeling that's 
moving through the air that's seeping into us is this sort of feeling of defeat. Like I've given my time, I've given my effort, I've given my heart, and I haven't seen results. I'm tired of being positive. I've given my heart and all I've gotten from the universe in return is more difficulty. I know that feeling intimately. I've laid down with that feeling. I've woken up to that feeling. I've walked through life a ghost in that feeling. The only thing that I've found to be solid, stern, resilient, that has gotten me through those feelings, those waves of doubt and disbelief in myself and my call, the only thing that's gotten me through that is non-attachment. Removing myself from the place of the offended, the place of the hurt, the place of the beaten. Take off that mask. If you walk around with the mask of a mourner or someone who's defeated, you will see a world that implies you are defeated. What I mean by don't attach is go through these experiences. If you do something and you give it every ounce of yourself, even if you haven't given it every ounce, if say you've given it, you've, you've worked hard, you've given 70, 80, 90% of yourself at something and you have not seen the result you want. This doesn't have to be in content creation or YouTube. I know a lot of you guys are YouTubers. It doesn't have to be that. It could be your job. It could be your passion. It can be something you're trying to create. It could be raising a child. Whatever it is, you, you're giving a certain percentage of yourself and you're not seeing the yield in return. Detach from the outcome and just be in that thing. Learn to love the act of doing. Learn to define yourself based on the effort you've put in to succeed, not on the success. Carve out your identity from the stone of your work, the granite of your mind and your resiliency. That's all you can hold on to. The result is, in some part, out of your hands. You can give your effort, you can give your time, your devotion to something. Yes, that you can control. What you can't control is when and how that thing is going to be presented to you. All you can do is something I heard from a very wise person. Luck is a combination of preparation and opportunity. You do your part by preparing, by putting in the time by investing in your mind and in yourself and in your goals. And the opportunity will come around. When those two things come together, we call it luck. It's like, oh, that person got lucky because you didn't see their battle. You didn't see the struggle. You didn't see where they came from. You didn't see when they were running up the steps like Rocky, when when they were training every morning. You didn't see the back end work. You only saw the product. You don't know how Apple's how Apple makes the phones. You just see the product in the Apple store. You don't know the time and the difficulty that was put into the creation of that. And I'm asking you to regard yourself as that product in the back room, as that thing hidden that no one sees the value of yet. You may not have anyone seeing your value. You may not have anyone noticing who you are and your potential. You have to do that yourself. It's so easy for me and for other people I know, and possibly for you, to look at the world and blame the world for how it looks. To blame life, society, corporations, politics, government, your parents. It's so easy to blame all these other things for where you are in life. What you're doing is you're removing the potential to change your life out of your hands. When you say you are who you are and you are where you are because of external things that you cannot control, you cannot move yourself out of that situation. But like I said earlier, the environment can be different. I can be in a jail cell. I can be in a palace. The only thing that changes those perceptions is me. 
All of that exists in the mind. How someone speaks to you exists in the mind. If you are trying to offend me, it's my choice to let what you say offend me. It's my choice then to see a failure as defeat. It's my choice to see delayed success as a mark on my character. If you go away from anything today, go away knowing that it is possible what you're trying to achieve. That you are a gladiator in this arena of life. That in your mind holds the potential, the power, the seed of all things that exist. You are the center of all of these things. The core of your being is the fabric that underlines reality. You are interwoven into every thread and sinew of this experience. If you want it, get it. Don't settle until you have it. And if you've given everything and you still haven't got it, remember, remove yourself from the offense, from the failure. You don't have to identify with that. It could be that success is trying to find you, but you are so rigid in your belief of who you are that you're not willing to bend in the right direction to let the current flow. You believe that if you were to change who you were, you'd break as opposed to bend and be malleable. It's not always going to turn out the way you think it will. It's not always going to look how you think it's going to look. But I can assure you that if you remove the expectation, if you remove from your life how it has to look and just focus on getting it done, giving all you can to your end of it, things will work out for you. I want to be honest with you because I like being honest. It feels better. You know, it makes me feel better. You guys on this channel, you're different because I know people, I've interacted with people, but the people on this channel, the 100 to 200 people who main my videos, who regularly watch my videos, you guys are different. There's something about you all. It's very different. The potential. And I want to impart into you all the fire that drives me to continue what I'm doing. You have to have something within you you have to have some resilience in you, some fire, some intrinsic value that burns to keep you going. No one else can do that. All I can do is fan the fire that you have, to blow on the fire that you already have kindling within you in hopes that it will rise and get bigger and grow. I am in a period of changing my life right now. I am in a place, currently living with family. I'm a 29 year old man living with family. I'm a deli clerk <laughs> at the local grocery store. And I'm trying to reorient this life into something that I want. And I guarantee you, you all will see this change you will see me go from, let's just say, for sake of metaphor, a peasant to a prince to a king, like Kendrick says in the song. King Kunta, if you want to listen to the song. I'm going to be an example for you. You're going to see the effects of manifestation, the effects of rearranging and, and shifting this reality into something that I want. You're going to see those effects. You could already look back on the beginning of this channel and see where I brung it with this same mindset, with this same attitude. Realizing that you have what you want in this moment helps you to establish it out in the world around you, in the environment that you're in. You guys are going to see it. You're going to see it. I'm living in a basement right now. I have no other prospects. This YouTube channel, my message, my goal 
is all I have. I have support from a few people and my wife that I, that I trust. But other than that, this is who I am, what you guys are saying. I believe in this. I believe that if you exist in the moment and you don't obsess yourself with who you're going to be in the future and the fear of that and who you've been in the past and you just be who you are in this moment, anything you want will be possible. That's how this thing works. Enlightenment exists in this moment right now and you can have it. And when you know that you can have something that is mountaintop experience, everything else along the trail is going to be light work. It's going to be light work. It's no problem for you. You, you can do this. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that was encouraging. I hope that was uplifting. Go from this video with your day and conquer it. Carpe the diems. Every diem. <laughs> Make it happen. You can make it happen if you keep the faith. Heard it from a song, you know, whatever. Uh, I love you guys. I wouldn't be doing this unless it were for you few hundred people who watch these videos. It, that's a lot of people. If I had a room with a hundred people in it, it I, I wouldn't be able to breathe in this room. <laughs> We'd be like stacked to the ceiling. Um, keep an eye out. We're gonna change the world. I want, if you guys come away with nothing else, just know that there is nothing you can't do. Every outcome, anything that you can dream up, you can accomplish. Because you are all things. You have that in you right now. That's what I want you to know. The book is out. I'm going to link it in the description of this. Get the book, Cure for Enlightenment. I talk about all of these things in it. Teaches you how to reach enlightenment, how to really experience it and live a life of enlightenment. Not just one moment, but a lifestyle of enlightenment how to astral project, how to get into magic, energy work. I go through all of those things in a short, quick book you can read in a day. If you guys want one-on-ones with me, you wanna talk, you wanna chat, you wanna learn from me, it's gonna be in the description uh, of this video. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing to empower yourselves, to encourage yourselves. I like to read that stuff because it encourages me. Keep doing what you guys are doing, man. I love you guys so much. Blessings, love and light, namaste, and as always, never stop adventuring. Maybe we're blind by the sun.